Since I've been doing so many videos surrounding the world of magnesium deficiencies and magnesium in general lately, I've been getting hit with a lot of questions. Simple questions like, how do I know if I have a magnesium deficiency? Or what are some of the ways that I can test for a magnesium deficiency? I figured it's a perfect time to do a video describing where magnesium is usually stored in our bodies and how we can get the most out of proper testing to determine if we're deficient or becoming deficient. You see, there are some of the obvious ways we can tell that we're becoming deficient. You know, we're paying attention to things like muscle cramping, we're paying attention to our mood, we're paying attention to even simple things like getting stressed a little bit more easily. All of these things could potentially be saying you have a deficiency in magnesium, but nothing that's really like cold hard evidence like getting some testing done. So in order for this video to make sense, I have to explain where magnesium is generally stored within the body and how it's usually excreted. Okay, so we hold roughly 50 to 60% of the magnesium in our bones, okay? And then the remaining portion is mostly in the soft tissue. Then less than 1% is usually flowing around through the bloodstream as what is called serum magnesium levels. Now, a lot of times if we go and get a simple blood test done to test our magnesium levels, a lot of times they'll just look at that serum magnesium level. So let me explain so it makes a little bit more sense and what you may want to look for when you get a magnesium test. Okay, so if we're testing the serum levels, that's the level that's in the blood, not the level that's actually getting absorbed into the bone or into the soft tissue. So this could potentially be a good test to show us if our levels are actually getting absorbed or not. You see, contrary to what people think, if your magnesium serum levels are higher, then perhaps you're not absorbing it into the bone where you should. But what you really want to look at is an alternative test that's called RBC, and that's your red blood cell count of magnesium. You see, what it's actually looking at is it's measuring magnesium that's in the red blood cell versus magnesium that's just in the blood. Because our red blood cells are in the bone marrow. So that red blood cell count, or RBC magnesium, can actually show how much magnesium is getting absorbed. So that mag RBC can show when you're starting to become deficient. And the reason that it does this is simple. As our bodies start to become low on magnesium, it's going to pull them out of the bones and the soft tissue and the red blood cell first. So if you start to see a decrease in your MAG-RBC, then that's indicative of your body starting to decline in magnesium levels. So you can kind of catch the gist there. So it's really important to have a broad spectrum look at magnesium. But additionally, you really want to have your doctor conduct sort of a questionnaire. Can ask you some questions, can ask you what kind of symptoms you might be having, because there's a lot of symptoms that add up in conjunction with magnesium deficiency. And that's something where it's really important to go to a healthcare professional to look at. I'm just conveying the message to you about what you can look at when it comes to measuring how much magnesium is in your body. So as always, when it comes to regulating your minerals, making sure you feel your best, you want to keep magnesium on the forefront of your mind. Okay? It's sort of the neglected mineral, the mineral that we need so much of and that no one is really talking about. So be sure to keep it locked in here on my videos. And you know, as always, the magnesium that I stand behind is Jigsaw Health's magnesium simply because they have that sustained release patent, but they also know what they're doing when it comes to research and making sure that they're putting magnesium on the forefront of their lives that we can all learn the best way to consume it. I'll see you in the next video.